stiff arms me. All right, is it? It's strong, you know. So what I like to do using my right hand is I karate chop, karate chop, or judo chop. <laughs> judo chop, hit the top of his elbow, so like that. Okay. Now from there, with my opposite hand, I'll arm drag that arm. So from here, I'll grab the back of the the, arm, the tricep there, and I pull it in. And Frank, and the, he actually broke the, let go of the grip there. So on this side, this is the side I usually do it on. I judo chop. I grab the elbow actually, I don't grab the tricep, I grab, I kind of grab, yeah, the side of the elbow, and I'm gonna pull it in. And from here, it's quite, he's already let, let go. And I have this good Sudigesh grip here. Now from here, I've got a few options. I can work an Uchimara, or what I was gonna talk about from this angle, is I'm not here, is if I'm here, he'll just underhook me, which is okay, yeah, he could do that, but then maybe, judo chop, pull it across. If I'm high and he underhooks, underhook, I might be able to step across in that instant to do a harai. Or, again, the main thing is you want to bend, you've got to bend this arm. As soon as you bend this arm, you want to be closing the distance on it. Now if I go over the top and he goes around, I could do an obuchi, could do a kawuchi, could do an chai, but he's also in a good position, you know, to lift. And then, yeah, lift me up and that sort of stuff. So, what I want to do with when I, when I break that arm down, is I come around the back, and I, I think about trapping this elbow. And now I try to get your arm out. He can't get his arm out. Now I try to push me away. Now Tillon's bigger than me, but his arm's too close to his body to get any sort of strength. If it was there, he'd push me away. But because it's bent up, he's got no strength there. And you can do it against yourself. If you put your arm like that and you do that, you've actually got no strength. You put it there, you've got a lot of strength. So that's what we want to do. We want to when I want to collapse that arm in. And the best way to do it is to bend it, arm drag it. And now here, and I lock that in. Now this is a good position for me. Look at him, he's all torqued. And look, he's on there, because remember he's double, he's double appelling. There's that. And this is a beautiful uchimara, a beautiful harigoshi, and heaps of options from that position. So it's really nice. So we're fighting, he goes boom. Look at this Kawuchi. He steps out, there's my Harai. Or the one I like to do the most, he double sleeves, double pearls, I chop it, arm drag it. Now from here, sometimes he lets go to let go and he opens up his shoulders. Look, I come over with the Kosoto. So again, we're here, I'll do the Kosoto this time, I'm breaking down. He's there, I'm pulling down, he sits up. And we're in an awesome position there for that, okay? Again, I'm going to do a harai this time, so he's there. I'm going to break it down, you know, and he's in a good position. I throw him with the haragoshi. Next one, kawuchi. So he's there. Break this down. And there's my kawuchi. You know, but it's all about breaking that arm down, again. Okay? You know, and if we look at it just one in, just one-handed, you can do this against a, a normal stiff arm in one hand. You collapse this in, and it's quite painful, isn't it? It's quite painful on his bicep, and sometimes their wrist depends on how flexible they are. But yeah, it's not bad, so, you know. Really nice judo, but it's one of my favorite ways to stop a, a stiff arm, even if it's just one-handed. Because sometimes you get those C90 guys that really show their shoulder, they turn around. They're like that, and you just can't, Collapse it in, pull it across. You're in a great position. Uchimata, Haragoshi, a switch, a Tanyatoshi, whatever you like.